More than a week has now passed since the death of North Korean leader Kim Jong Il, and speculation is on the rise as to how his young son Chung Un will take over the reins of power. Adang's Choi Yoo Sun met with Andrei Lankov, a Russian North Korea expert at South Korea's Kumin University, for his views on the future of North Korea. Professor, it is a great pleasure to meet you, and thank you for meeting with us for this interview today. Thank you for inviting me. It has been uh, more than a week now since the death of North Korean leader Kim Jong Il. Um, do you expect to uh, see the heir and his son Kim Jong Un take over sole leadership of the North Korean regime, or can we expect to see more of a collective leadership? Officially, ostensibly, it will be still one-person dictatorship. Kim Jong Un is going to be extolled as a new great leader. But at the same time, I think it will take three or four years before Kim Jong Un will really start, start running the country. Mm. For the next few years, I would expect that there will be advice, it will be his advisors, if you like regions, who will be running the po North Korean politics. They will not be much advertised. Mm. They will be hidden from the outside view, but they will have a great deal of power. So we have just one symbolic leader, mm. Kim Jong Un, who initially will probably have little power and his advice. Under the, the leadership of Kim Jong-un, can we expect to see some sort of reforms within the North Korean society? Minor reforms probably yes. Major reforms definitely not. Has South Korea not existed? No, uh, North Korea would probably started reforms long time ago. They probably would have started reforms in the 70s. Uh, the problem is, if uh, North Korea starts reforms, North Korean people, first of all, learn about South Korean prosperity. Second, they will become less afraid of the government mm -hmm. because of the unavoidable political relaxation. In China, it does not constitute a problem, but only because uh, there is no another Chinese state. But in the case of North Korea, an attempt at reforms is far more likely to lead to an East German-style political collapse, not to Chinese-style economic boom. And will the new leadership be more willing to open and re-engage with the international community and uh, take some responsible action with regards to its uh, past provocations? They will never admit responsibility. If they do, they are likely to be punished. Uh, talking about engagement with the international community it has always been the case for, well, decades. Mm -hmm. If you want to engage with North Korea, it's easy. You pay. Uh, so they will try to use diplomacy again to extract some payments from the outside world. What are the chances that the new North Korean regime um, may provoke again? The current situation in North Korea, in South Korea, chances are not very high. Now, the major goal of the North Korean, North Korean diplomacy uh, is to increase the probability that the South Korean nationalist left, Democratic Party and the like, will win the next elections. In this case, North Korean side hopes to get more aid. And uh, it's quite clear that such a provocation will probably push uh, the South Korean voters to the right. And this is not what North Koreans want. However, there might be some internal reasons for staging a, low, a, a relatively small-scale provocation. Uh, because Kim Jong-un is young and he probably, will, probably uh, will consider some kind of tough acts necessary as a way to show to his own generals and to his own political leadership that he is a tough, he is not going to yield. Uh, well, maybe they will do it, so probability is slightly increased. Uh, but I would not say that it's very high. Thank you very much for sharing your insights with us today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.